the dopest podcast in your ears. Hip hop not really benefiting black people for real. I seen it. You got any thoughts? I mean, he ain't wrong, but he ain't all the way. He said it done right. more damage than it did. Then it helped the community. Not that it ain't do no harm, but it was more detrimental than it was helpful. I don't agree. I mean, I feel like it's it does a lot of it is detrimental, but everything that's going on with us, it ain't nowhere near the majority reason to what you know what I'm saying to why we are in certain habits and things like that in general. So I think it's inadequate because at the same time, obviously hip hop makes a lot of money go around for us in general. It gives us a way out. <coughs> But at the same know, time, you can't be crashing out behind it, too. I don't know. I would say from that whole clip, I just feel like niggas just was hearing that he was saying that hip-hop negative. But I don't think that's what he was saying. He wasn't trying to he take was saying away. More, okay. He wasn't really trying to take away from what hip-hop has done for us, what hip-hop means. He was just saying, like, we don't own do- shit in hip-hop. So the fact that we even mentioning that is like... Yeah, we got all this stuff. Like, these folks made money off that shit, but there's still people out here who spending their money on this shit. There's right. people out here who not benefiting from it. Like, it's more people not benefiting from it. They're going to keep telling you. <laughs> like, Shut the fuck up. Keep, you, <laughs> keep your mouth off the mic, bro. Back up. Like, just third time. That's what I said. My first, actually. <laughs> <laughs> That's, what That's what I'm trying to tell you. Go ahead, bro. Keep talking, man. <laughs> But, like, he just, he just letting it be known, like, we don't own shit in hip-hop. So, it's like, what do we really sell about? Nah, I, like, think, I think he was just saying more, like, it could do more. It, right? It, it, like, a lot of, even, what, what but hip-hop saying? could do he more even within. He said hip-hop don't own no banks. It don't. Hip-hop don't own no hospitals. It don't. Hip-hop ain't open up no schools for it. Hip-hop don't even got, like, a union for, like, their own rappers. They got... Exactly. So like he not wrong. Like hip hop hasn't done none of that. The big hip hop hip hop don't even have a homeless shelter right now that homeless in any city can go to. Like what is it? like hip hop could at least do that and that's what he's saying. Like they giving it they but, giving money back. Like y'all doing turkey drives for homeless people who can't even go and cook the turkey. Right. <laughs> like I hate when people do that. Like, but he's like, what, like, what are we really doing? Like y'all giving the money out or y'all doing these little certain things to make it seem like but are, when are y'all going to actually help for real? Like, when is when is a person, like... So do we blame... Say, okay, say, but hold on. Let me ask this. Do we blame the, no, we the don't artist? Blame shit. We don't blame shit. Or I'm do we... tell you what we do. What? When is somebody going to just be like, all right, I got this million dollars, and this person, I got this million dollars. We're going to open up this facility for strictly these people. Like, this is strictly coming from a person of hip-hop. Like... For homeless or something like, or I mean, you know, giving back to the kids, you know, that's always youth good. center or giving, something. You know, giving back, like yeah, open up a youth center again, like. What I'm saying is, so when we say done from hip hop, we talking about like, who's we talking about? Is we talking about rappers or we talking about the people that control this shit? Cause them white people. So you talking about? So we talking about heavy hitters coming together to make shit happen? Cause I mean, I mean, some do. It may not be on as big of a scale as it needs to be, or it could be. But like some people do, you got people with the reform. Like, yeah, it give people jobs, put money into the community. At the end of the day, it do. Like it do what? Uh, Why that ain't shit? Also kill people as well. That is a community. What do you mean? What do you think? Goddamn, a uh, uh, artist whole team is. If it's all black people, that's a community of a team okay, of people okay, getting look, money. Look, look, look. What do you mean? For that's not example, an individual. What I'm for, saying is enough example. individuals going to make a community is what I'm for saying. For example, let me tell you. People who benefit from rap, they're connected from somebody in the community. I want you to benefit from rap. have nothing to do with me. Everybody say how many, from rap. How many people is fucking making money off hip hop versus the people that's out here? That's like listening and supporting the hip hop. Yeah, no, no, no. It ain't. It ain't. It's, yeah, it's, it's, it's way, way less people way less. over Facts. here on this side. Facts. Right? Facts. So, well, it's way less. It's the people that's making the money from it. Yes, it's way less of the and rappers I'm, and I'm not, the actual I'm not even people. Talking about yeah. the, the people that own hip hop. I'm just saying like the artists and producers. Yeah, yeah. And shit. yeah like, facts. It's way less. It's less of them than the civilians who. Right. Who support the hip hop. Right. Okay, so boom. The supporters of the hip hop, them niggas be niggas who rap every day and shit. They ain't making a dollar off this shit. They ain't, you know what I'm saying? They ain't spending their money. They trying to 
takes a dream because they're being sold like shit. But if I drop a hit song, I can make it. If I do this, I can make it. Really, where them same rappers could be goddamn pouring back, like like, like how Yachty said, oh, the internet, these kids got way more resources now. How? Right. Okay. I feel like, I feel like we had way more resources growing up than they do now in, in modern day technology. You don't think so? I think we depend on what you're talking about. We had a lot of different type of research, nigga. We like had what? a fucking after school program. We had a fucking goddamn, um, what's the shit? We had, what's the shit? Upward Bound. Like, Upward nigga, Bound. We had, we they had got more shit now. Like, kids is not involved in that shit in your community. Uh, I the don't kids, know about the kids, that. The kids, the kids at your school that you went to. The niggas that think about what, all at them, what school? We talking school, about Carver. Oh, okay, school. yeah, okay. The kids nowadays versus the kids when we was going to school. Them niggas is not taking advantage of that shit. Oh yeah, that's fact. I'm not going. No, that's not fact. That's not fact. It, it's bro. not so fact. You, it's you a think, lot of kids. You think them young niggas is taking advantage of them resources? Oh, oh we talking about young. I'm talking about kids. I'm kids. talking about the, yeah, the, talking about like the, 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 the young niggas, the like teens type shit. Yeah, okay, yeah, you right. You might be right. School now, like them young. You see how these young niggas living? They badly going to school. I think that's a certain demographic of young niggas. I don't These think it's like a total. These young niggas ain't got no rec center they can go to. They do, though. What you mean? I mean, they, no, the they young niggas be all the way at C.T. Martin on MLK. All the time I well, be up in I that motherfucker, they be they there. They closed a lot of rec centers. Yeah, they so did. That's a fact. They made it hard for niggas to get into boys and girls clubs and shit. A lot of young niggas not going back to no boys and girls clubs. Shit costs and shit, yeah. Shit, my, my younger cousin's in He in middle school, so I don't know so if you count like, them. Yeah. It yeah, just, yeah. it's talking about you talking about doing shit that like they not forced on to them by their parents just, and shit like far, that. As far as other resources, outlets, and but, shit, I feel like we had that. Like we okay, had but, places we can go. But look at this: if you take, to. if you take, which may sound crazy, but if you take hip hop away, imagine the uh, less amount of avenues it give people. I'm not saying it's a whole lot, but it is still I a mean, way. If you take hip hop away, niggas probably would be back in them trade schools and. Doing other shit. I don't that, know. They was they was niggas was getting trades back in the day. Niggas, Facts. Niggas, niggas. Mm, that's a good point. Was, you said what? That's a point but though, saying, because there's not, other they're options. Doing it, I'm saying they're right. not doing it now because niggas want to be right. podcasters. Niggas want to be vloggers. Niggas want to. Facts. It's, it's, uh, niggas want to do want to rap now. Like, niggas want to do shit so outside said, of certain said, shit. If you take away hip hop, what would there be? Like, nah. I mean, I feel like if, that's always gonna be there. Yeah, like yeah, before that's always gonna be. Before hip hop came, niggas was robbing niggas. Facts. Before hip hop came, niggas was robbing niggas. Facts. They was doing dope and they was selling drugs. Facts. You had that ain't gonna change. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that shit been going on. But you talking about because Curtis other Mayfield, avenues Curtis with this? Mayfield literally rap sung about. But you said being your pusher man. But like, you said it's other right. It's other avenue. <laughs> it's other avenue because of the technology and all this other shit going on. Niggas ain't relying on. Right. If you take that away, they would just rely on that. Is what right. you kind of saying? I mean, yeah, but who said, but, but right, yes, and you can make a lot of money doing that shit, but at the same time, you can make money you would probably, some people would never ever see in their life doing this other right. shit. And it, I'm not saying, it and creates I'm not an saying, opportunity. And I'm not saying we're wrong, but all I'm saying is we can't say that Dr. Umar is wrong for his point, because it's like, it's so many other people that isn't eating off hip hop, that, that's what he's saying, like, what about those people? So the people who are eating off hip hop. How are you going to reach back? How are you putting it back yeah, to them? Facts, like, facts, yeah. When are we going to own something? Don't nobody got a streaming service. Oh, Jay Z, the only Jay's one. title. He, he, he sold it. And he sold it. He did sell it. So, like, don't, we can't, we don't have one black owned streaming service. But everybody why, running Apple Music, Spotify. Why yeah. do we need a black owned streaming service, though? I'm, I'm just saying, I'm asking. In, I'm just oh, saying okay. in general, like, what, because if, if it's really hip hop, that can be where whoever that black owned person is getting the money because we're going to stream from that person. That right. that person of hip hop. Where it was they. Right. But now he's not. I see what you're saying. That's that's all I'm saying. Like I niggas is saying. just like to his point, like niggas don't own nothing in hip hop. Nobody niggas is owning they, they masters now, but shit, even that's not even worth what it was back then. Like niggas was dying to get their masters back back in the day. And now they giving them shits that like, yeah, you go on your masters. But, but they you still, got the publishing you know pub and all that shit behind it. Like, it ain't just masters, yeah. Like, they giving niggas they masters back when it don't even mean that. Niggas can't even make nothing off that shit for real no more. I mean, yeah, because it's not just, it's more than just masters. It's the publishing, exactly. right, like, all that exactly. shit. It'd be a so lot to like, it. But, so it's like, where's the black-owned publishing company? There might be one. I don't know. I don't know. Well, ASCAP, be, all that shit. I don't know if they black-owned. But what I'm saying is, you're right. I actually agree with you. I'm just really arguing the other side. I don't yeah, know why. But point. that's what I'm saying. But just, to his point, he not wrong. Again, I just said I think he not wrong, but I think it just 
I ain't putting all of that shit on hip hop. It need to be other shit bigger than hip hop. Like, just like I don't look to hip hop artists and for shit for real to give me any type of political advice, community advice. Like, I don't expect them to do that. But people, so like when people say certain but, shit about them saying that like them having all these uh, celebrities and shit at the DNC and all that shit like I don't care because I don't look you, to them but, for that. You might not do that, but, but it's, others do. It's, You're right. It's You're right. probably uh, five Facts. million motherfuckers who doing that. Like they just seen huh? men go up there shaking ass. Then they're like, oh, I'm born Kamala. On me. Yeah. yeah. Dopest podcast in your ears.